watching the Oregon Ducks on Prime Sports Northwest, home of the Pac-10. First-year quarterback Danny O'Neill has become an instant success in Eugene. In just two games, the redshirt freshman has tossed six touchdown passes, four of them last week, as the Ducks posted their first road victory of the season. Junior split end Ronnie Harris hauled in his first two career touchdown passes as the Ducks improved their slate to 2-0. and the Utes of Utah already have a Pac-10 scalp, having defeated Oregon State two weeks ago. Linebacker Anthony Davis leads a defense that is 13th in the nation and first in the Western Athletic Conference. Coming up next, it'll be the Ducks of Oregon and the Utes of Utah. Salt Lake City, Utah, it is Oregon football tonight. The Ducks take on the Utes of Utah. Good evening, everybody. I'm Todd McKim, along with Ken Woody, and welcome to tonight's contest. The Ducks, for the second consecutive week, are out on the road seeking their third consecutive victory, and they've got a little adversity they've got to go through tonight, uh, having defeated Texas Tech last week, but the injury bug has really hit this team, and during the course of practice this week, Ken, Sean Burwell, the outstanding tailback for the Ducks, sprained an ankle. He is not available for tonight's contest, so the Ducks will have some inexperience at the tailback position. Well, it, re it represents an opportunity to expand the balance of the running offense, which I think the Ducks had to do anyway. Keeley Clifford and Donovan Morrow get a chance to show that they can carry the mail tonight. We'll see how it goes there. And what are the keys to victory tonight, Ken? Well, the keys to victory for the Ducks, they've got to develop a ground game that has some balance and uh, can move against a real unpredictable defense. They've got to deal with adversity. They've lost a, a quality player on offense when Burwell and on defense Jeff Cummins, that's going to hurt them a little bit. Plus, this uh, uh, Utah defense likes to get in your face and create some pressure. Kicking game-wise, uh, Oregon still has lacked a big play spark so far this year. They're looking to, to use their dominance in the kicking game to advantage. You mentioned the linebackers for the Utes, and that's one reason why they are 2-1 and one coming into tonight's contest. They're number one in the Western Athletic Conference in defense, 13th in the nation, and the linebacking core is outstanding. Well, the Utah guys were real high on uh, Anthony Davis, and uh, it, it turns out that maybe the best of all, according to Oregon coaches, is Kid Lambert out of Mississippi. How does a guy from Mississippi get to Utah? Well, it's hard to say. What are the keys for Utah? Well, Utah has got to get after Danny O'Neill. Keep him from getting into rhythm. You know, Burwell's not in there. They want to make sure the quarterback doesn't have a great game. They've got to uh, not be their own worst enemy. They've had 31 penalties and eight turnovers this year. Utah has, has really not uh, helped their own cause out. They've got to compete physically. Oregon's a Pac-10 team, a top-level team. They're the most physical team Utah will play this year. And you know the Utes are looking forward to playing a Pac-10 team at home, and that's what they've got tonight. It's the Oregon Ducks against the Utes of Utah. The opening kickoff coming up. <laughs> 